Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 2, Strategic Financial Management. In this session, we'll discuss about the ratio analysis. Ratio analysis, we'll discuss about what is ratio, what different types of ratios, how we express ratios, and uh, what way the ratios are useful, and uh, different formulae on ratio analysis. Okay, we call it as ratio analysis, a part of financial statement analysis. First of all, what is a ratio? Ratio is nothing but one term expressed in terms of the other. One term is expressed in terms of the other. So what is X in terms of Y? We can say that it is a ratio. Say for example, we have a cost. We have a cost of say $70, which is sold for say $100. So we can now say that the cost of each unit is 70% or 0 0.7. So one number is expressed in terms of the other. A ratio is a number expressed in terms of the other. We conduct ratio analysis to know the various, you know, uh, um, you know, the information about a company which include liquidity, profitability, solvency, and the ownership of a company. So now the uses of ratio that uh, a company uses include the performance of a company with that of last year or the performance of a company with another company or the financial status between two accounting periods. We can see whether the performance is good or not, whether the financial position is not good or not, or whether we need to take some measures. Therefore, it is very much used for internal comparisons as well as the external comparisons. Internal comparisons between two different periods or between two companies belong to the same group or external comparison a company to company of similar nature or similar type of business. So what are the ratios we are going to discuss here? The ratio the ratios are expressed in uh, different formats. A ratio can be expressed in percentage, like we say 25%, 25%. So my profit is 25% of the sales. So profit is expressed in terms of the sales. Profit is expressed in terms of the sales. So we can express as a percentage. A ratio can be expressed in a proportion like one is to four. Like we have, we have one time of you know current assets in terms of the total assets. So one is to four. We can even express in some kind of you know pure numbers like one fourth, or it can be expressed in times like four times, five times, or it can be expressed in time period like thirty days, forty days, forty five days, etc. So the ratios are used in the a uh, company by the management to, to facilitate some comparisons between two periods or two companies. We can also understand the weaknesses and strengths of a company which will be very much used in our decision making. We will be discussing about the types of ratios include liquidity ratios, profitability ratios, financial ratios like uh, Leverage ratios, which include financial leverage, activity ratios, also known as coverage ratios, then efficiency ratios, profitability ratios, and also the proprietary ratios, which we call it as market ratios. Now let's begin with the liquidity ratios. Liquidity ratios talk about how liquid the firm is. How a company maintains liquid assets 
to to meet its current obligations for that purpose let's take an example of the income statement between two period one year two year one year two is the recent year year one is a prior year so let us take this financial information of the statement of income or income statement and a balance sheet now we understand that um, the information which we collect from the current assets and current liabilities will be analyzing the current financial position of a company now let's work on the balance sheet liquidity ratios liquidity ratio first ratio to be calculated is the current ratio current ratio which will explain the relationship between current assets and current liabilities so current ratio explains the relationship between current assets and current liabilities so first of all we should know that whether we have enough current assets to pay current liabilities or not so we need to have sufficient amount of current assets to pay the current liabilities current liabilities are the obligations that are to be paid whenever they become due very first ratio is current ratio we'll be discussing about a quick ratio which is also known as asset test ratio followed by we'll discuss about cash ratio cash flow ratio and net working capital ratio these five ratios will help us to understand whether the company is in a good position to pay its current obligations on time or not obligations are the amounts which are to be paid to the outsiders be it a supplier be it a utility be it a salary whatever whenever they become due we must have enough current assets to pay them off now let's discuss one by one beginning with current ratio current ratio explains that whether we have enough current assets to cover our liabilities current liabilities or not as we discussed just now that we need to see the size of the current asset to pay current liabilities so obviously we need to have more current assets than current liabilities to have to enjoy the liquidity position to pay to make the payments on time so the ratio can be calculated using a formula called current assets divided by current liabilities current assets divided by current liabilities so from the information to the balance sheet pick up the current assets which is 625000 pick up the current liabilities which is 175000 and apply in the formula current assets divided by current liabilities 620000 divided by 175000 will give us 3.54 what does it mean it means that it means that we have 3.54 dollars of current asset of current assets for every 1 dollar of current liability so we'll be using this amount to pay current liabilities so we have enough current assets to pay our current liabilities we can say that our current financial position is good if at all it is less than 1 say for example if the ratio is less than 1 it means that we do not have enough current assets to pay current liabilities so we fail we fail to pay the current obligations on time so 3.54 we are happy we pay the amounts on time but less than 1 like we face problems in the making the payments on time so the very first ratio tells about our liquidity position is current ratio the ratio between current assets and current liabilities the next ratio is 
quick ratio. A quick ratio is also known as acid test ratio. A quick ratio is also known as acid test ratio. Here in our balance sheet, we find the current assets which include some assets which do not which do not uh, uh, turn back into cash like your cash and bank balances is okay marketable securities which are called short term investments yes can be converted back into cash accounts receivable yes our customer balances we can convert them into cash but inventory it takes some time it cannot be converted into back in short period okay it takes time prepayments any amounts paid in future for the next period so these two amounts we are not going to consider for the payment of current liabilities so asset test ratio equals to quick assets quick assets are nothing but when inventory and prepayments are reduced or deducted from current assets we get quick assets divided by current liabilities so it's nothing but total of current assets minus inventory minus prepayments so do not include inventory and prepayments then compare quick assets in terms of the current liabilities then you get quick ratio when quick ratio is greater than 1 we can say that the company's financial position is good short term financial position is good so preferably current ratio of any company should be greater than 1 that is better always try to have 2 is to 1 whereas quick ratio should be at least greater than 1 that is 1 is to 1 is acceptable but any ratio of like current ratio is not 2 is to 1 a quick ratio is not 1 is to 1 they are lesser than this it means that the company may face some problems in short term payments obligations in the next ratio after uh, the quick ratio is the cash ratio cash ratio is most conservative than current and quick ratios it is more conservative than current and quick ratios where you just sharpen your current balances to meet your current liabilities let's have a look on our total current assets here cash yes readily available cash marketable securities yes of course but here accounts receivable we get only on the due dates but not whenever and we want so the accounts receivable is nothing but your credit customers balances that amount we get only when the invoices become due so it is not possible to, to generate cash from this as and when you need money so we need only these two amounts cash and marketable securities to pay your current liabilities so which is very short uh, liquidity ratio which includes only cash equivalents which includes cash and marketable securities divided by current liabilities so cash assets that is 40,000 of cash and bank balance plus marketable securities mean the short term investments are used in making the payments so 40 plus 80 120,000 divided by current liabilities that is 175,000 gives us 0.68 the standard norm of this ratio is this ratio if it is 0.5 or greater that is always good so it is more than 0.5 therefore we can say that the current financial position of this company is good so the next ratio is cash flow ratio this is a very important ratio which explains about both how efficiently you are generating the cash from the core operations of the business and is it sufficient to pay the current obligations or not in this example let us assume that the cash generated from the core operations of the business means if your company is a trading company this cash has to be generating generated from sale of the inventory if your company is a consultancy from your consultancy business you need to generate this much cash flow this cash is generated from the operations and the current liabilities say for example 175,000 we should see that whether 
the cash generated from operating activities day to day operations of the business is enough to pay current liabilities or not if this is enough it means that you are meeting your requirements from only the operations of the business no need to depend on the sale of assets or further borrowing to pay current liabilities so the standard rule of this ratio is that the cash flows generated from the core operations of the business should be greater than the current liabilities so when you calculate here the cash flow ratio using cash flows from operating activities divided by current liabilities is giving us an amount of more than 1 so ratio should be always more than 1 so here we have 1.83 which means that if you have 1 million current liabilities we have 1.83 million uh, of cash generated from operations so we can pay 1 million here even after paying 1 million we still have 0.83 million which can be used to purchase any fixed assets if your company wants to buy any fixed assets or we can repay loans if you have any uh, loans or we can use it for expansion of the business so make sure that this ratio should be greater than current liabilities the more higher the ratio the best is then the last uh, uh, ratio in a liquidity analysis is net working capital ratio net working capital ratio talks about how much the working capital you generated from uh, the uh, how much net working capital you have in the business against the total assets so net working capital is nothing but the difference between current assets and current liabilities current assets and current liabilities how much of net working capital you are maintaining in terms of the total of the assets so this should be this should be you know if the working capital say for example if your current assets are greater than current liabilities so obviously you will have a positive amount on the top that is numerator but if your current as liabilities are greater than current assets the ratio will go into negative which is not good in fact the company faces some problems because current liability portion is more than the current assets so obviously this ratio should be positive in terms of the total assets here so net working capital divided by total assets you have current assets of 620000 current liabilities of 175000 working capital or net working capital the uh, formula is current assets minus current liabilities the working capital here is 620 minus 175 which is 4 is 45000 to be expressed in terms of the total assets so you can see the balance sheet total assets which is the total of current assets and total of current liability or fixed assets will give us so total of assets here will give us much 1 million 680000 you can see here 1 million 680000 so 445000 working capital divided by total of assets 1 million 680000 it is positive in fact so the ratio should be positive this is the end of the session on liquidity analysis we'll discuss about um our next analysis in the coming session and then have a good time see you in the next session